Hey everyone, welcome to Pop XP. And before the show starts, make sure to click that subscribe button and click the bell to get notifications when we go live and we upload awesome new content. And don't forget, if you can, make sure to share our stream on all your social media outlets. We appreciate it, and thanks for helping us grow the Pop XP channel. Hey everybody! Oh, let's take this little brand off. I loved it so much. I was, I made it the overlay. I'm like, I dig this drawing. Well, let me pop it off. Hey everybody! Billy Tucci, your old pal, call, coming to you live on a Friday night. Oh boy, well, I've been busy, but you know I'm not alone, and I have you guys out there. Niall Scala, old Scalawags. Him and Frank Amazing have some uh, important family business to take care of. Um, so. Uh, I'm here. I'm here with you guys all out in Facebook land and and on, of course, YouTube. But I'm not. I'm not alone. I am far from alone. With me is the one, the only, Doctor B. What's up, Billy? Yeah. What's up, Doctor Incognito? So, so is it the weather? Let's so say you've been having some uh, migraines or something. Oh today? man, I, I think it's just been uh, been burning the burning the candle at both ends and staring at a computer screen for like for like day in and day out. I just had a killer headache man so i'm i'm here in spirit now and not not uh not on camera but uh in spirit i just want to give a shout out to everybody in the in the chat hey candace hey era how's it going hey guys good to see you i think old dr b is sitting there with a big old hot hopefully a nice hot wet rag on his or or towel on his forehead get some steam take a nice hot I'm bath not, tonight if you i'm can. not i'm i'm oh. actually just sitting in a chair wearing a yellow shirt <laughs> 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 oh look at that. hey doctor says hey candace how are you my beautiful friend hyper kaiju yes teen sensation is in the house is my teen sensation monica no no I'm it's sure I go with live. Ah, go. well, well you know it's been two weeks we're having a great two weeks if i may share the campaign and i want to thank each and every one of you guys who has helped to uh to to help Make this dream a reality to this book. Uh, we are so close now to our seventy thousand dollars stretch goal. Uh, but let's uh, let's show not bad, not too shabby for um, for for uh, for two weeks, huh, Doctor B? Not even yeah. quite. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Hey, Christos, my brother, how are you? Good to see you, pal. I am doing pretty terrific. But I'm going to share my campaign, our campaign. I don't want to say mine, but uh, here you go. But. There you go. She hike yo sixty eight thousand eight hundred and seventy one. I had a lot of fun yesterday. Blevins coming here live on the Pop XP. And, and that then, was there. Yeah, was you there. were there. Yep, you were large and in charge. That's right. Um, no, that's right. Someone just uh, Heroinberg. Uh, br my brother Heroinberg. Thank you. We are we're approaching nine hundred backers. Ten backers away from nine hundred. Ten. Crazy. That's ten. this many. That's as, this uh, many. My, ten. Yep, ten. As my ten. buddy Rick, Rick Van Diver says down in uh, ten in, in Kentucky, he says ten. 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 So and, uh, uh, I see uh, Chris C talks about the yellow shirt trading card. Hey. Oh, oh man. Not, wait a minute. Are we talking about a Doctor Levin <laughs> trading card? But there's no yellow image? shirt trading card. Could the Doctor? Could we do Team She trading cards? I want to know what happens when Doctor Blivin wields the power of the duck stick. That's what I want to know. Duck stick, duck, the the duck sticker. I think it's going to be like if we can make one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars or something like that. That's going to be the duck sticker. <laughs> our, our, <laughs> duck sticker. That's duck right. sticker, bro. Then I want to point out Nicholas Gear says you were asking about the creator of Razor the other day, and he says he has a book on Indiegogo called Bayonetta. Is it is it the same Bayonetta from the video game? Is it that Bayonetta? I tried to look it up. I didn't see it. Uh, I'm I'm kind of asking the guy in the the chat, like, is he is he doing Bayonetta? Is he involved with Bayonetta, the video game? That's weird. I don't know, man. I don't know either, man. That's why I'm asking. Got to find I don't, stuff. I don't know, man. What are we talking about? We're talking about she? Or are we talking about someone else? Well, no, we're talking about the guy said he wanted to she razor crossover again and wanted to know if that would ever happen again. No, no, no way that'll never happen. Are you kidding me? <laughs> But uh, no, I, like, I like Evan Hart, so but no, we 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 we've got our publishing plans. 
um, already set till 2023. So that's not going to be able to happen. Dude, you got but, uh, but I wish him luck. I'm glad he's back. I have not seen or heard from Everett, man, since like 1996. So I'm glad that he's uh, back in comics. That's great. Congratulations. Yeah. Good for him. Um, look at this. Dr. Blevins, did you have a little bling? Did you hear the bling? The bling? No bring, no, yeah, little, not little, little, little buck right now into my stand. You see, oh that? no, yeah, that ain't nothing though, man. Look at this. I got crows, you need to make it, <laughs> and I got, I got big. you need to make it big. I can't see it. Yeah, I, I make myself big. Hang on, I'm going big, going big. All right, so I got this. Go, bigger, go home, Billy. I know, <laughs> brother. I know. See, I got this buck, but he's always at night, this guy, and he's kind of a a junkie buck. He's kind of the kind of buck you might want to take out. Now I got a lot of bucks coming on because I ha I I have a uh, a doe estrus wick hanging right oh no tree where the camera is and they all come to it. But let me show you something. Oh, we got a guest on real quick. Let me show you something really cool. So look at this. But look at this. Are you ready for this? I'm ready, dude. Look at that. Wow. But yeah, he's there at eleven fifteen p.m. Look at that slob. And this is the gr this has got to be the great grandson of the big buck I shot six years ago. Because if you see this little kicker right here, if you look at right there, oh, yeah, yeah, that little kicker, that little right, kicker there. right right there. My my big buck's got the same thing. And if you guys go into my photos, you'll see it. But you know what? But but enough of me. We got something very exciting. We have a, a very, a very exciting another special guest. Another I guess. special guest. I you guys aren't special guests. I get. I think we're tonight, all cool. tonight is full of specialness. Yes, it is. But you know what? The one, the only, the incompa the incomparable, Mr. J.C. Vaughn. What's up, Tex? Hola. Oh my God! Boo! What's up? How are you, gentlemen? I am doing well. Um, how are you doing? How is McCandless and Company doing on Indiegogo? It, it may be on press as we speak. You got to be kidding. Wait a minute. So no. you have a, you have a book that is that just went it went into in demand. Your campaign yep. ended. You had a very successful campaign. You hit over two thousand dollars, um, and now your book is already at the printer. And and let's face it, it's actually two books. It's uh, we had the uh, the Kickstarter as well for the same program, and it was for McCandless and Company Crime Scenes, which was the main effort, and then a special edition uh, of McCandless and Company uh, Insecurities, the forty eight page graphic novel. And both of them are on press. Exceptional, exceptional, my friend. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually really proud of it. You know, you know, family-wise, what we had going on, uh, uh, and I felt really bad that five or six of the people um, on who supported uh, Vampire PA bite out of crime, uh, you know, really had to wait for their stuff an unac unacceptable amount of time. And, and yeah, I mean, listen, I got really legit excuse. Rosina's brother how, had a how stroke. How long did they have to wait for it? And, uh, months and months and months. Yeah, but, you and, know, the majority and, of the, 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 ma the majority of it went out early. And then, boom, you know, family stuff. And, yeah. um, but I don't think that's a good excuse when people have paid you for stuff. Indeed. And uh, so I'm, I'll am i be my own harshest critic as far as that goes. But ergo, dude, dude ergo, we, we are we are past 65,000. <laughs> we are almost to 70,000. I know you've announced the 70,000 goal. Yeah. Have you guys started thinking about the 75,000? Yes, we uh let me see. I, I Dr. Dr. Blevins in the yellow shirt trading card. I think we just announced it, right? I think I think we just did that. Let me check my notes because I'll see. Uh, yes, we have been. I sent Debbie a whole bunch of suggestions. Um, here we go. What what do I have for the 70,000? Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah, we have um let's see, we did a, a it might be a I'm looking at the Crusade Comics logo patch, embroidered patch. Oh, nice! Oh, that's so much better than your first idea. Yeah. Well, are you gonna? Well, why not share it? Let everyone know. Billy wanted to give people a bag of squirrels. Yes, and, and because if anybody remembers, we rescued squirrels uh, a few years back. Yeah, and you baby still have squirrel. them in your bag. Yeah, the baby squirrels. It looks like Sophie. I believe Sophie, our cat, our killer, our our cute little killer, killed the mom. And these squirrels that were living up in my, in one of the we we got the whole house um. Uh, restored uh, about seven years ago. So this is going back three or four years now, three years or so. 
And but they didn't they left some holes in underneath the eaves and all. And this squirrel made a family there. And, and Sophie, my cat, likes to live up on the roof. She goes up and she hangs out and she sunbathes. And she's a killer, though. And I think she killed the mother. So the babies were, you know, as squirrels go, baby squirrels, once they're orphaned, they will seek a mother, no matter who, what it is. Dogs, uh, people. Penguins. So penguins yes um i should get debbie to tell that story it's a good story call deborah did you mean uh, deborah yes of course call did, it now. Did, so deborah, you know. deborah dr blevins how are you this evening dr blevins dr. Uh, i'm doing well i got a got a little small headache but uh but i mean like uh i'm 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 making it through i'm making it through i've been uh been reading some comic books listening oh, to some, come up here for some, a second explain the squirrel story Listening to okay. some uh, Tony Rich project, so yeah, like Big and Rich. No, the Tony Rich project. Oh, I don't know what that is. And nobody knows oh, it Billy. but me. Billy. Yes. Billy. Yes. Look at Nicholas Gear's suggestion. I don't know okay, I'm that right now. You ready? Yeah. No. Yes. No. Oh no. no. The one before yeah. it is a good one. Oh my gosh! You know what? So funny because I I made one because my hockey team, my roller hockey team, we were the Crusaders because I paid for the jerseys and everything. But that's a great idea. I'm gonna tell Debbie tell Debbie to put it together. Now they'd have to come with probably the same number, and my number's thirteen. Um, what's my number if it's not thirteen? <laughs> Personally inscribed one that says Crusade Fine Arts on it. No, the Crusade. Somebody wants to do a Crusade. Oh no, I mean no. I mean, somebody wants to do a Crusade hockey. Uh, Nicholas Gear suggested a Crusade Comics hockey jersey perk. Wouldn't that be badass? Like like black, white, and red, like Blackhawk cover colors. No Islander eh. that's colors. That's it. No, they got to be Islander colors. I don't and I don't know that. Wrong. Either. Yes. I don't know. It that has either. to be Islander covers to go. Uh, to they go be comic man. I, it have to be she colors. She colors yes. is blue and orange. No, they're not. They're, yes, blue, orange, and, and black. white. Where have you been? Blue, orange, and white is this eh, wrong. Thank you, Jeffrey. Well, the funny thing is, if you if you guys scroll through Haikyo, and let's scroll through it real quick, uh, that we are over six. We're approaching sixty nine thousand um, dollars. But if we scroll through, and we just loaded up our rough cut edition, what a beautiful color, colored by. Um, uh, Sigmund, yes, yeah, Sigmund Torre. Uh, I my thought boss. you said his last name was Sea Monster. No, no, yeah, don't say because that's what I keep thinking. That's too. not nice. Oh my God. So, uh, so we've unlocked, I love that show. Yeah, we've unlocked four of our uh, stretch goals. Was that a, that and what that fine stretch goals they are? I hated those Croft shows. I hate those Sid and Marty Croft watch, shows. I despise them. I used to watch them. Sigmund the Sea Monster every Saturday morning with their little pet lobsters. Oh my God! Awful. This is your it's hardcover fabulous. edition. This is your glow in a dark cover edition. But if we get to the 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 Sakura Moon edition, which will be a metal cover as well, that is right? just that is just this is just the cool. Joni Brosis cover. Yep. And then if you go here, you'll see you'll see that Hotaru is wearing a New York Islanders hockey jersey. That's your little homage. She's wearing a Matt Barzell jersey. It doesn't make it she colors. She colors especially is, since her name is Haikyo and not she. Her name is not Haikyo. Her name is Hotaro. Oh, it's Hotaro. I'm sorry. Yeah. I stand corrected. It's like it's like Hotari, only different. This book was originally supposed to be called Hotaro, and you changed Yes, you are yeah. correct. Okay. Yes. All right. So, Deborah, tell the story of because we're talking about squirrels. Now, Jeff said he he Jeff shot down my idea as a stretch goal to give everyone a bag of squirrels. And that'd be real squirrels. Could be gummy squirrels. I think that's a great. Oh, oh! You didn't squirrel. say that before. You were you were very specific. Live squirrels. No, I was. Yes, no. you were very specific. Open the box out and it jumped out at you. No, will you please? Red, 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 black, and gold is badass too. Was this? Hey, Billy, Billy, how was your game against Saracens? I heard you took Jerusalem. <laughs> All right, Deborah, tell the story about the squirrels. Hi, Candace. And, How and, are you? Yeah, and this is where the squirrels came from, Jeff. And once you hear this, everyone's going to want pet squirrels. Well, no, no, because they have maybe three. rabbit squirrels. So, um, one night we're in Billy and I are in bed, and we he, and it's probably about 11, 11.30, and 
or on the second floor and outside my window on the second floor, I hear a cat meowing and it's our cat who had snuck out some orifice of the house and um, was on the, the little roof landing next to my bedroom window. The very next day, we, we started, let her in. Yes, yes, we obviously let her in. Yes, of course. And then the very next day, we started to see these itty bitty tiny baby squirrels. We heard them, didn't we? Um, well, we heard them crying first because they were living in our house. Um, but they started one at a time coming out on the roof and looking around and sunning themselves a little bit. And they looked kind of young to be doing that. And there was no mother to be found. So um, I started calling rescue places, wildlife rescue places locally, and they were all full of squirrels. So um, I don't know what happened that year, if there was a mm -hmm. disease going around, but there were just family and family and families of orphaned squirrels. And I was year. like, Howie, can't be. Can't be. So Nobody would come and rescue our squirrels, but they said, if you've really, they said, give it a couple days. And if no mother shows up, we can talk you through how to nurse them. So after about two days, I, on the opposite side of the house from where the squirrels were, I walked outside and I hear this tiny little screaming noise and turn around and there is, it was much louder and much more shrill than that. And okay. I turn around and this little baby squirrel had gotten to the top of our roof and was coming down the opposite side to get to me. And I thought that was maybe my imagination. So, and it would stop when I would turn around and look at it. So I turned back around, continued to walk to the garage. It started screaming. I turned around and it stopped and started walking toward me. And I realized that if I didn't, or if I kept walking to the garage, it was going to catapult itself off the roof. So um, I grabbed a, a ladder and started to climb upon the roof with a towel. And the squirrel literally came right to me, got in my lap, and I put wrapped it in a towel and I brought it down. And I was home alone at the time. So uh, right after I got off the ladder, Billy came home. And Billy, myself, our nephew Vincent and our dog who followed us out onto the landing of or onto the roof of our porch went outside and because we had I guess the the leader of the pack um the other baby squirrels followed suit and came to us and we put them in a carrier and called the wildlife uh rescue place and there I was nursing baby squirrels for about a week um until I could find a rescue home that would take them. So uh, my entire left side was covered in flea bites, which was not fun. Um, but they I, do. I would have thought. I would have thought, knowing Billy, that that would have happened more often. <laughs> but they're very sweet, and they warn you that when you're feeding them, not to look at them and not to talk to them, because you will imprint on them, and they will be yours forever. So I was very lucky that we found a rescue place to take care of them because they were so adorable. Um, it was hard not to talk to them. And I'm sure if Wally, I, yeah. I can imagine. How many were there? There five? were five. Five. Man, there were five? You yeah, and then, five. And then we wanted Una to get used to them so she doesn't kill all the squirrels. So we want to tell the story. So we took the little baby squirrel out of the box. So, well, what was happening is she would want to come out because Una doesn't really go anywhere or I don't go anywhere without Una right behind me. So um oh she jumped out on the roof. So yeah, yeah when we were yeah. rescuing them she jumped out on the roof. And, and like the I dog would... is on the roof and we look and Una's on the roof and she jumped out of the laundry room window to be with us. And on she's the roof. on the roof of the house <laughs> above Crazy the porch. Dog. Yeah. A little separation. Wow. Just, just hanging out. Yeah just hanging out. Not so a... um I was outside feeding them and she was having a conniption fit that she couldn't be with me. So one of the kids let her out and we said, well, let's see if we can, what she'll, you know, basically if we can let her know that these are off limits. So I had one in my hand and she came over and she sniffed it. And I said, nice, nice. And she sniffed it again. And then, and then she, she opened it. her mouth. No, she oh, then it she licked it. And then, head, like, Aw. Aw. and then she opened her mouth and to tried try to, to eat it. To bite his head off. <laughs> 
So they said, nope, there's no squirrels for yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, uh, we have Sigmund, Sigmund Torre, who did, if I'm pronouncing your last Hello, name, Sigmund. it's Sigmund, not a sea monster. Yeah, it's not a sea monster. <laughs> See, I know. That's, <laughs> hey, you got you to gotta forgive us because that, uh, that was our generation, Sigmund. And it was a great show. Let yeah. me, let me say a- this. Yeah. Let me say this. I, I float somewhere between Billy and Deb on this. I don't think it was a great show, but it certainly well, was. It certainly nice. was. It certainly was our generation, and it's reflexive. Yeah, I'm going to show what that thing looked like. That nightmarish, disgusting. Oh, he was a harp- cute little sea monster. Oh my god! Yeah, now okay. Why don't we? Why don't we instead show the art that Sigmund colored? Yes, yes let's do yes. that instead. All right, but now don't, I'm now don't I'm look obsessed. Up Sigmund the sea monster. Look at that thing! Oh my god! He was so. Cute. Imagine, yeah, I'm going to get a Sigmund the sea monster costume and I'm going to dress like that and I'm crawl into bed. Pretty with sure you. Sigmund Tori is not happy that we're doing this to his name. Right, you know you're right about that, Sigmund Tori. So Sigmund, I, uh, I saw you just sent me an email. Uh, yes, of course we'll send you prints uh, and we'll send you stickers. Absolutely, we will. And of course we'll get you some books too. But here's Absolutely. here is Sigmund's amazing sheet cover that he did. The rough cut coloring, just beautiful, my friend. Just beautiful. And as we as we as we as we were talking about the rough cut cover last night, it just jumps off the page, and then you look at this thing, which is just whoa, stunning. Ama- they, but you know what? When you look at them side by side, they almost look like two totally different pieces of art. Yes, they do. You know, the center figure yeah. is identical. It's kind of yeah. crazy. And then Sigmund added the drums because I forgot if it's called Rising. Um, oh, he oh. Does- he did, he watched it too. Oh, okay. Ha, ha. Yeah, I'm sure he was real happy about that. I'm sure he was ecstatic about it. So um, anyway, uh, this is not the. Oh, I got to put your because I think I loaded this up before I got your final, Sigmund. That's why. But uh, Sigmund was able to digitally add in the drums. Uh, Raiju plays Raijin plays drums. He's the he's the Japanese god of thunder. So it's called Raijin. That's what the prince called. So anyway, learn yeah, that. So Deborah way. is going. You have plans for this, don't you? I do. I have great plans for this. Do you want to announce it? I or absolutely it? adore this cover. So we, I am. What in, was it? What was the thing you said when you saw it? You said it's out of this world. I said he knocked it out of the park. Oh, knocked it. Nice. Um, which I said again just a moment ago, but you don't pay attention to me. You love me, but you don't pay attention to me. Well, it depends what so, you're wearing. So, um, because of that that between the color of the background and the um, just the pure go- gorgeousness of the cover. We are going to do the first ever metal cover um, rough cut edition. There will only be one. Um, it's a gold metallic coat, right? And the background, which will retain that linen texture or printed linen printed texture, but there will be a metallic flake in there, I believe. Um, I have to make sure it can still be done, but I have seen them done before. And it's going to be stunning. And so stunning that I think I would like to offer it as a metal print as well. We've never done a metal print before, so this will be our first Sigmund. Um, So I'm really excited. Really. What what about chromium? I know I keep bringing up chromium because I loved chromium like uh, when I collected comics. I had spoken to – now, Ethan did chromium, but I had spoken to Gabriel Olbein. Yes. And he had said that it's not worth doing. It's so expensive. Oh, I think that you need it to, to be like a hundred dollar book for. Gold. I think you need to talk to him. Okay. Uh, I talked to him about this very subject yesterday. Okay. And he had uh, just run off uh, uh, an alternative. So mm-hmm. you might uh, you might have that discussion. Well, I think that Chromium is maybe not for this campaign, but but yeah. definitely for Gatecrasher. And, Definitely, and if you we, know, all being with the themes of Gatecrasher for if, sure. If we want to try to do something Chromian, maybe while we're in demand, um, oh, Jonathan, does not... you're very, very welcome, and I'm sorry that uh, that you fell through the cracks right here. Jonathan's gonna have to fall through the cracks again. Sorry, no, he's not. Yeah, he's we're not. just gonna have to ignore it's Jonathan. Not at all. Funny. Let's just get that out of here. No. Oh, that's okay. So, oh, all right. I, I did do it. Let me hang, hang on. What about see, a shit hockey puck? You're honey? a knucklehead. All right. Let me find. He's a Billy. Anyway, Billy. Hang on. I, I'm very hang on. sorry Ech. that you had trouble getting in touch with us, Jonathan. Oh, so please say thank you. Oh, so you did. You were able to get in touch with Dr. Jones. Uh, yes. And I sent out his book early this morning. Oh. So it's already in the mail. And um, he's going to get a, a little something special in the mail, too, for his A Robert. little something something? A little something special. I did not say a little something something. Oh, okay. 
Oh, that's only for me. Right? The little something, something. Man, what about a silk wall scroll? That's what that is. What um, we've Sigmund been had. Try, we've been trying to do that for years. Yeah, Sigmund. I, yeah, I've wanted to do a silk wall right for twenty years or so. I, I, I it's not easy to do, and I don't know who would make find it. Somebody yeah. to do them. There's a there's a company called Double Dragon. I kid you not. That's the name of their company. Sure. Uh, double I, Yeah, I kid you not. Double like Dragon. Like a Chi country though. Con Say what? Is this like a Chi Com country? Co no, it's 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 in it's in the states. Okay. Well, it's in I the don't states. Chi Com enough. Life. Sorry, people. But yeah, it's called Double. The name of the company is called Double Dragon. They actually have all. Uh, they do all the the silk. Um, all the silk banners themselves, you know, like all the anime silk banners and you oh, know, cool. like oh, okay. fantasy, all that stuff. So uh, I don't, I know, I know that my cost to order them was like eleven dollars to order them, and I sold them for twenty five. So um, when did you know, order them? Say what? When did you do that? This was maybe about five years ago. Oh, so it can't be up that much. Yeah, the, yeah. Video game. Really? Uh, After twenty twenty, you're going to say something weird can't happen. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. There'll be triple that. Yeah, but so yeah. what? Well, well, we'll we'll figure it out. Uh, thank you. you. And you know, and you know, it's a double sided. You know, the silk they're double sided, so you know, it's a it's a full bleed all the way through the the uh, the cloth and everything. So it's pretty cool looking. If you can send me their contact info, I will look into that something. Yeah, I'll have to look at look at my emails and see if I can find them. But yeah, I don't, I don't mind. For that, maybe maybe for the omnibus edition, I think that would be a nice time to do that. Um, and back to chromium. If we do do chromium at all for this campaign, I don't think the Ryzen cover is really the right one for it. I would like to see maybe one of the Ray covers for it. The, like the, oh, the, 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 um, like, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. The, yeah. The, the color that we used for the metal edition, I think, would be beautiful yeah. and chromium. Yeah. So I can, I can look into that, Jeffrey. Or we can just say the, we'll look into it, but I think chromium for, for She Gatecrasher would, would be out of the floor. Look at that. It's me, I'm calling Jeffrey. No, it's so off. <laughs> Solf does this on purpose. He always oh, does. Me today. Always. And oh, I have to ignore. So we're going to refresh. Let's see how we're doing. Uh, in one half hour, I'm going on Joe Soderberg's, um, Soderberg's um, uh, stream. Uh, I believe I'm doing a half hour. And then I'm, I'm looks like I might be going on with on all caps comics on Comic Artist Pro Secrets after that. But let's uh, let's refresh right now. Wait, don't cross the streams. Don't cross. Thank you. Uh, right now we're at sixty eight thousand eight hundred and seventy one. Let's see if we got if we got up if we uh, moved up any, shall we? Go for it. I get disappointed when we don't because I never check it. I check it like twice Life a day. Life will go on. It's true. So let's do it. Oh, we did go up. Look at that. Oh, we're less than a hundred dollars away from sixty nine thousand. Thank you guys. Uh, Jeffrey Vaughn, what about this? How about a lenticular effect for the She Gate Crasher cover? I don't know what that mean, word means. Lenticular? Yeah. That's where you, you move it and the image changes. You, you usually do like three to five layers of art inside mm -hmm. the cover, and it and it moves when you when you move it into different light. Oh, so like say if we – let's just say we so had – So kind of like a holograph. Yeah, but we had sort like – Now, would it be the same – like would it be she and say – Like, it, like, like, like literally if you, had, if you had she with the Naginata starting on one side and swinging to the other side. Oh, that would be nice. really cool. That would be really good. And then we could sell that art. Yeah. That would be out of this world. It would be. Just like your last picture. Would you... <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. I can't not look or talk to Jeff without quoting <laughs> movies. <laughs> Yeah, one well, movie you know, in particular. You know, uh, you know, I'm a huge like old school kids like a uh, TV show cartoon collector, right? Yeah, it's so funny you were talking about Sigmund and the Sea Monster because you know uh, the Mighty Boosh, they had a they had a funny uh, sketch called Old Greg, where he would come out and be like, "I'm Old Greg," and he they they uh, they made Old Greg looked like Sigmund the Sea Monster, like they used him. As a reference to to make old Greg look, uh, it's pretty pretty weird. Pretty weird. Uh, Mighty Boosh is one of those UK comedy groups. 
Never heard of the Mighty Boosh? No. Have you heard Pixie and Dixie and Mr. Jinx? Nope. What? All right. Have you ever heard of uh, Connor McDavid? You mean the the Western? Yes. See, no, no. He's the best hockey player in the world. See, so that's see, we can not know things. We can, you know. I know, but I know, but too. You I know, know but know, yeah. Do you know Jake McNeese? Um, What's with is, the is he related? Because he's hit me with all this pop culture stuff that I don't know, so I'm gonna hit him with you it's know, not, I know, like it's old cool stuff. We were talking about, we were talking about uh, Sigmund and the Sea Monsters. You guys are talking about Sigmund and the Sea Monsters. I don't want to talk about Sigmund. And the sea. I don't want to talk about H and R Puff and stuff. Okay, let's let's, let's be fair here. I'm the one who said it. Oh, I despise. Yeah, it. but Billy started it yesterday, and you just carried it over. Okay. <laughs> I get anyway, out of jail. Well, let, <laughs> let's see. Oh, so we found a very interesting article. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna share another screen. My leg. There, there, oh, God bless. Thank you. Uh, duh. In Scoop Magazine, she high kill campaign adds rough cut edition. Look at that. Thank you, Scoop Magazine. And the vice president, and the vice president of Gemstone Publishing. Thank well, you. Thank you, Jeffrey. I'm very happy to do it. This is a very exciting campaign. Yep, and this is a great website, everyone. Uh, Scoop. I'm I'm going to make the link just to paste. I'm going to make the link to my article, but please check out Scoop. It's a it's a fantastic weekly uh, um, periodical that has all the insider scoop. Well, no, no pun intended. Uh, we well, yeah, pun intended, of course, on everything comics, film, and entertainment. Indeed, in and a lot of different, a lot of different collectibles too. Uh, of course, you know, Overstreet—that's our main focus. Um, so we do a lot of back issue comics. We talk about record sales and like the recent Detective Twenty Seven going for more than a million uh, and things like that. Uh, but we also Captain we, America number one, the 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 re, the restored edition that went for the highest restored copy ever. Mm -hmm. First appearance of Captain America. How much? How much did it go for? There was a lot. Of, there was a lot of thought. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, there was a lot of thought that there was going to be. There was a there was a very high grade cap uh, that people thought was going to be the next million dollar comic, and. Uh, it didn't. It was at the threshold, but didn't make it. But you know, Marvel One has made it now, so that there's there's four million dollar comics now. Crazy. What's up, Death Metal Hero? Death Metal Hero is the bomb. He is the bomb. Hey, um, uh, is Sigmund still in? Sigmund, if you are still in the chat, in the house, in the house, in the hissy, we'd love to have you on the show. Uh, maybe we could do a lunch since you're twelve hours ahead of me. Uh, perhaps we can do a, uh, a a lunch, you know, lunch but a lunch break with Billy Ooh. show uh -oh. next week and Jeff. I would love to see. I would actually, you know, because I'm very interested in process. I'd love to see if he has the various layers of working on that that piece of art. If oh, he could show God. you what that would that be like step a by nice step. Tie in with yes. what we're launching next week. Yes, that would be an excellent tie in. What we're launching next week. That's what um, I do. Thank, yeah, because we can go through all the stages. Because yes, yeah, Sigmund, perfect. We'll do that. I'll I'll email you. It's getting late for you, or it's early for you. I don't even know. Um, Eight p.m. in the morning, I guess. Uh, but Sigmund, um, I'll try to email you uh, when we get off. Uh, and if not, I'll do it first thing in the morning. But we'll set up. Think one day next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, and it would be Monday, Tuesday, yeah, Thursday. Right your time though, Sigmund. That's the thing. It would probably be. Well, we could do later on in the afternoon. Now we'll figure it out. Maybe even what, this time we could do it around this time where it's it's on during we the week. To start doing yeah. whatever it is. Whatever yeah. it is, you need to have a little bit of time to go through the process because I have a feeling it's going to be very cool. Yes, and because so I even made her feet. Me, if you want to give me the rough, uh, give me the should, original. You can even do. Um, you haven't done a uh, Facebook Live at lunchtime in a long time. Yeah, here's the original art. It doesn't even have to be a YouTube. I'm going to stop sharing the screen real quick. Here's the original art in a Mylar sleeve, and that's going to be part of a very special package that we will be loading up next week. Ooh. You'll have to wait for that. Um, and then, S Sigmund, you'll see that I fixed her feet. I made her feet too big. <laughs> and I think it's because I draw like this, right? And I think this gets bigger. Probably so because you did this cover six times. I did six. I did at least eight times. I, I, 
I did it ten it. times if, if it was a foot. I still want you to do the first one on something. It was beautiful. No, was, I think you could. Well, thank you. Oh, that's all right. Well, yes. Deborah and Billy, yes. I got to run and go hang out with my sweetie. Oh, so mean. I just want to say. Can, Tell her I said hello. I will be glad to. We look and Let's see, see hey. where we are, Billy. Refresh. Jay, oh, do you have a question for you before you go? Yes. Are you part of the uh, Defiant uh, Kickstarter that they're doing right now? I'm not. I am not part of the Kickstarter, though. I will tell you, um, it's going to sound egotistical, but I'm probably the main writer. Yeah, because I did a lot of the interviews for that for the Defiant fanzine. Yeah, that thing is, uh, man. I'm super excited. You know, that was that was like you know right after Jim Shooter left Valiant, he went and created Defiant. Yeah, Warriors of Plasm, Dark Dominion. You know, even the, some of the later stuff like Charlemagne. Yep, you know, I have a, all those books. I have a, a Facebook friend named Mark Davis who actually initiated that project, and uh, I said he was the silly guy who made the mistake of asking me to talk about Defiant because they were they were critical to me breaking in. Uh, Clark Smith, who was their marketing manager, actually introduced me to Bob and Carol Overstreet. So, you know, my career goes from there. Yeah. So I love the comics. Um, I'm a big Jim Shooter fan. Uh, one of my best friends, Joe James, worked there. Uh, and, you know, JJ and everybody else. Uh, just so many great, talented people. And, yeah, you know, Marvel, Marvel spent them out of business. That's what it was. Mm. In, yeah. in a lawsuit, in a lawsuit that Defiant won, and Marvel was excoriated by the judge, who later became the Attorney General of the United States, Albert Mercasey. Uh, uh, the uh, the thing is, in New York, you have to go back for a separate trial for damages, and Marvel had already spent them out of money. Crazy, man! You know, like they had such unique ideas with, uh, you know, their trading cards being the the number zero. The comic, zero issues, yeah. The uh, uh, I mean, the the Warriors of Plasm holiday special was was ingenious. I thought, you know, I mean. A holiday from oh, from and, their for, viewpoint. and for Pete Sick, it's for Pete Sick, it's Len Wein and, and Dave Cockrum. <laughs> That's right. You know, That's right. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal stuff. And and I guess David Lapham, his his incredible organic art on uh, Warriors of Plasm, cost a couple of inkers to quit, from what I've heard, uh, because he was just the, so much detail. Because yeah, so the, much the detail. Different, the different colors. Not the colors. The detail on the inks required. Oh, gotcha. That's it. But at any rate, listen, I I, I don't want to tie up the show talking about that. We should come on and do a separate show about this thing. Well, you need but to get Jim Shooter. We need to make it happen, JC. We've been talking about it. I'd rather talk. If we're going to talk to Shooter, I'd rather talk much more broad than just Defiant. But I agree. I agree. I Billy? Old this, Bean? This piece of art, is that for the... Uh, is that this, is, this is... Okay, so we are now just over $1,000 away. hundred. Uh, under see a thousand dollars. No, we're just over a thousand eighty-eight dollars away. One thousand eighty-eight dollars away from unlocking this stretch goal, and it is Sigmund's beautiful she uh, five-inch vinyl sticker. That's great. Really durable. You can you can have it outdoors. Uh, put on your car. Uh, but who wants to do that? They make great computer stickers. I think personally, and on pesky neighbor kids. Yes, and it's actually and it's actually manufactured right down the road from my house, right in, right the, on, in right the United right States of America, right about, about four blocks away. Yep, yeah, four blocks away. There's there's a little which is still the United States of America. It still it's is, still yeah. The there's, United it's States the old is it's it's not the old it's the not, only it's business not in the south, Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, it's the only business. It's the only business is south of Middle Road, right? Oh, there's a few south there's of south of Montauk Highway, a, but a, it's a little tiny gaggle of stores. Um, that, that was the Bayport Deli, which is, which was existed for, I don't know, 70 years. Um, and there's a sticker shop and I went in there and they're so nice. And, uh, boom, uh, here's something else that Lord Ravener said. Yes. Sh she short boxes, working on, it. working on it. Spoke to Peter Sumetti. Uh, got another call into Peter Sumetti. I spoke to the guys at hot flips. Jeff is going Jeff from hot flips is going to get me a template. Uh, for us to stick the art on, and then we'll get prices for it. And we just have to figure out how to how that all works. All okay. right, folks. I'll talk to you tomorrow, buddy. Good night. Good night. Good night, doctor. Good night, sir. Y'all have a very good night. So 
So here's the update. So if you guys sign up, you get the updates. Here's our rough cut cover. Here's my newest upstate update. Sp Look at this. I spilled. I made some spelling. Yeah, not really that bad. Okay. I found a, a spelling mistake or two. Not surprised. I wouldn't be surprised because uh, I'm, I'm like this. Got to get it done. Got to get it out. Okay, then. It's such a great point. What's a great point, uh, Drew? Print, print. Oh, print. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Golly. Not only do you make typing yeah, mistakes, but you yeah. make there's, mistakes. Yeah. So there's our rough cuts, which are, you know, and all these products are made in the, United, in the good old United States of America. Nothing against Canada. Hey, we got Professor Murph from War Party in the in the chat as well. Professor Murph? What's up, Murph? Where is he? There he is. Hey, buddy. Good to see you, man. War Party. War Party is the S, isn't it, Dr. B? It, it, dude, I thought it was pretty good exceptional work so all right guys we're coming on me going on for 45 minutes i promise i promise myself i'd only do a half hour to 45 minutes dr blevins you need to rest up tonight yeah you know? I, just, I just need to quit staring at a computer screen i think all day like i've been doing i need to take a, take a break away from the computer but i know i'll never do it oh we did we have action figures don't we we're gonna executive replica will be doing more, uh, another six inch action she action figure coming in 2021 yeah. and another 12 inch action figure very uh quite possibly a she and hotaro action figures in their oh, samurai armor we were actually nice. to launch the six inch in october but thank you covid yeah. that did not happen yeah. so i need to get back in touch with them and we need to revamp our plans but it's coming so and of course our heronberg our brother is uh yeah we, we're we our our stretch goals are really starting to rack up and if you guys if any of you guys got the last campaign got return of the warrior you see we like to give a lot of stretch goals so we're going to figure out what we do either our next i i think for seventy five thousand, we should do either a magnet a crusade low a crusade comics patch maybe and then I think we maybe the She Haikyo logo. Did, I'm not magnet. saying we can't do a patch, but we did a patch last time. Yeah, but so a Crusade or oh, maybe a magnet, then a Crusade Comics it might magnet. Be time for a magnet. All right. So let's, we'll let's, see. All right. And whether or not it's a Crusade magnet or a She magnet, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right. Mm -hmm. Everyone have a great, great night. Locked night. In. See if we got any 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 higher on this. Let's go view campaign. Hey Billy, I sent you the link for the uh for the local place that does the comic boxes. Oh, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So let's refresh one last time. They're good, good people. Thank you, buddy. And they'll send me a template and everything. There we go. So we're still. Oh well, yeah, yeah. They'll they'll send me a template. Um, you know, I think they have the tooling already still down. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm sure they do. Peace out. Okay, guys. So listen, I will be going on um, uh, Joe Sana tags. Um, uh, uh, YouTube channel in 15 minutes. Uh, again, um, Sigmund, thank you so much for doing such an amazing job. We I love will, it. we love it. I will get you a message, uh, ASAP and we'll, um, we'll go on from here. All right. Billy, are you planning on doing any shows this weekend? I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Well, we gotta, we gotta clean the house. Cause it, right now you can't walk through our house. Our, yeah, you can. I've been cleaning a been, little bit. Yeah, still, we got, we got eight foot, yeah, we have eight, eight, foot, foot, eight foot tables everywhere tables for packing and shipping with that, boxes I, that I need and, to get out of my yeah. foyer and out of my kitchen and yeah. out of my dining room. And we got to set up for Christmas. So hopefully Dr. B tomorrow night be done. And, and you know, but we got to get a Sunday. We got a Christmas well, maybe tree tomorrow night. We could take a break and have a cocktail with the good folks and hop on. Oh yeah. Maybe we'll do that by the fireplace. That'd be fun. We'll set up the computer with yeah. the fireplace and we could chat by the fire. And you could take a picture of that Joe Jesco painting of she that you've been telling me you're going to send me a picture of. Like, uh, I never we said could that. Absolutely do that. <laughs> yeah. we, we could take it off the wall and put it in the background. If we could oh, that'd be awesome. I'm afraid that thing comes off the wall. It ain't going back up ever again because I'm oh, well, don't take it off the wall. He's making us an offer we can't refuse, and Jessica's going to be mad. No, that's no. not for sale. Not so for please sale. don't make us offers. That is absolutely not for that's sale. That's what happened with, with my Alex Ross um, Kingdom Come number four, the double page spread, uh, the the massive one of of uh, Superman, you know, punching Captain Marvel and all the DC, you know, yeah. heroes battling, and uh, and also the, the also the fight for Zeta. A freaking duck stick, the one uh, underneath. I know. I'm, I got to try to find it, so I got to try to find his show. 
Um, let me go into, let me quit out of here. You know what? I think maybe tomorrow by the fire will light up the duck stick. Dude, that'd be, well, no. You no, can't do that. You, <laughs> duck stick don't need light up. The power, the power of the duck stick may actually <laughs> light the fire. Lit up because the duck stick is hot. Kindling. Go away, creepy thing. I hate you. Duck stick. I hate you. The Tucci's and the duck stick. No duck stick. Please, no more duck stick. Say the duck stick. Don't say the duck stick. Say the duck stick. Duck stick. I think. The, the duck stick, uh, one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars stretch goal will the be duck, duck stick is falling apart. I just gotta find out exactly where it went because it, it it turned. So I gotta find exactly where, and it, it'll it'll fit up there. And I'll just glue it up. It's all good. Don't worry. We'll we'll fix them up right as rain, just like Maybe Robocop. Maybe will pop off soon. See what I gotta deal. See, look at this. Love the duck stick. Look at the duck stick. Love. Can I get some duck the, stick love? The duck stick. I get some the the hell of a duck stick. Lord Raven, not even to say the duck. This is hell, the duck stick. Duck, it's duck. Not Julius Caesar. Duck. Some, we, duck. I need you to go to. It's not even a duck. I need, it's an alien. It's a duck. I need you to go to Michael. Have you seen a duck with I polka need, dots and a purple beak? I so you know duck hunt. I duck hunt all oh, the time. Oh stop! There's no duck the in existence ducks, that looks like that. The only that. ducks you see are the dead ones on the Liar. wall or the ones in the zoo. Liar. Do me a favor, and I want you to I go. Live to, on Long Island. There's ducks everywhere. I want you to go to Michael Smar and get him a little Christmas hat. I'm not going to Michael's store. <laughs> awesome. Except dead. Yeah, absolutely. Lord Raptor is dead on a duck stick Christmas ornament. Oh, oh, to make a duck stick Christmas oh ornament. Oh my god, that'd be so man, we need to make that happen. We need to make that happen. So let it be written, so let it be done. Deb, you can't you can't my kids will cry. See, save <laughs> well, the duck. I don't make your kids save cry, the duck. Honey. Save the duck. Look at this. The duck. The power of Christmas. The power is, of Christmas compels you. Yeah, the power, the power of Christmas. Christmas compels you. The power of Christmas is insignificant when compared with the power of the dust. <laughs> no, now that's blaspheming. Don't you dare. <laughs> All right, everybody. We're gonna go. Oh, I'm gonna go on in ten minutes. I'm gonna pour myself. Can you pour me a glass of wine? Sure. Thank you. All right, buddy. You, uh, Hi, folks. We got some new wow, comments. Love you guys. Everyone have Steve a great day. Steve Howard. Wow. Where's Steve Howard? Oh, yeah, Steve Howard. What? No, Where Steve How he? right? He's right there, smoking <gasps> a cigar. Steve, the uh, Billy Tucci moment. Yeah. I miss you, Steve. Steve, so so much. So text me, and we'll get you on the show. Let's get you on the show either this weekend. Maybe we can all chill out and tomorrow DJ. night. Get DJ too. Yeah, get DJ on too, man. Let's do let's do a sh let's do a show. All right, brother, Hi, miss Robert, you, man. man. That'd be fun. We'll do a nice show. We'll all sit by the fire, and then Steve, and we get DJ, we get Doctor Blevins, we get maybe Tucci Nile. Moment. Billy Tucci moment. I love the Billy Tucci moment. All right, so I'm I gonna, live for the Billy Tucci moment. Let me find Joe so, Joe Sotag Sontag's uh, my my link. Okay, I'm gonna go pour you wine. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Here he is. Here's Joe Sontag. Here it is. I, all right, I'm gonna send the link. I'm gonna put the link in the Let's chat right now, guys. Please join us. He's a oh, great guy. You're sending the link to the show. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting it. I'm putting it in the chat. Boom. Boom. So, guys, join us, okay? Um, it's it's a YouTube show, so I'll, I'll go to the YouTube. Here's a YouTube. Sorry, I copied the copy. Here it is. I will be on YouTube in two shakes of a donkey's tail. So we'll be there in 10 minutes. Well, Billy, I hope you have a great time, and uh, and goodbye, everybody in chat. Hey, let me ask you something, Dr. Blood. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude, ask me. You're, you're from the South. I am. Don't Do you tell say, you say finna or fixin'? Like I'm finna to, or you say fixing. Fix fixing. I'm fixing to go on the show. I see. I think Steve is from DC. D's, C, Steve's from DC, and he says finna. Then, I think I think Steve on. is the one that told me about a switch. You ever you ever get a switch? You ever get hit with the switch? Man, so <laughs> I used to. My grandmother, like whenever I would mess up, like she would go out in the woods and she would get like the good switches like the ones that that were green still and man i would get switched up dude that's why i'm that's why i'm such a good that's why i'm such a good guy now i think i think steve was told he had to pick his own switch if i'm wrong i think if i'm getting it right i've, I've, I've heard, I've heard stories i've heard stories about that but luckily i've never well Maybe if I got to go pick my own switch, I, I wouldn't have been so messed up. <laughs> yeah, but you know, that's a problem because if you pick, you you got to pick a good switch because because you're a kid, you're going to want to take, uh, you know, a what you call it switch. 
you're going to want to take, you know, you're going to want to have a, um, you know, you, you, you're going to want like something that's not going to hurt so much and they inspect it. And if you yeah. get the wrong switch, yeah. You get it 10 and, and, and I don't know, I don't know really what was worth the, the actual swacking of the switch or like the sound that it made as it was, cause you knew it was coming. You knew it was, it was like, coming. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> dude, like it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. Uh, maybe, uh, uh, Amy, ah. Mizuno, Mizu, uh, Amy Mizuno, sorry. Uh, yes, that's the thing. She is Christian. Um, she was raised by her mother, who's Christian, and that totally affects her being she. Thank you for the super chat because, uh, you know, Anna is a soldier drafted into a war. Um, and, you know, unlike, not unlike Sergeant York. Um, you know, and she, that's the thing. That's why she's so conflicted. The duality of her, of her character is really what is the whole driving force behind the entire, the entire comic series. Um, in the new one though, she, now her daughter has been kidnapped. So she's not fighting for a cause or fighting for a side or fighting because she's been drafted to fight. She's fighting to get her daughter back. Right. And, and you don't want it. Now mama, mama's got a brand new bag and it's a, a bag of whoop ass that's coming. So hell, hell half no fury, Billy. There you go. So yeah, no, no, yeah. No, I, I, no I go. Switch itching for a switch. <laughs> <for a squish. laughs> <laughs> Going to get worse than the whooping, huh? <laughs> got I, it. I tell you what, I you know if kids got switched more amount nowadays, like maybe we wouldn't have all these kids talking back to their parents and stuff. Mm -hmm. Man, I think we we'll do that with Matthew. Matthew's gonna get switched. Tell him to pick Man, it. Can I can I ask you a crazy question? I know yeah. this is completely kind of it's kind of on the same same subject, but a little bit long. So uh so like I used to have a real bad problem with people stealing from me. Like, I mean, even at the game store, like I would have people steal, like, you know, people would steal stuff out of my yard, at my house, and and everything else like that. Like, so you know, across uh, you know, across the the pond or whatever, you know, in, in some of those, uh, you know, third world countries and stuff, they would, they would chop off people's fingers or chop yeah. off hands or something. Yeah. Like the that. Arab countries. Yeah, yeah, the absolutely. Arab countries. Yeah. Yep. absolutely. So, so real talk, just say they implemented that, right? Like first, first offense, you lose a pinky. Second offense, you lose a hand, right? How many fingers or really how many hands would have to be chopped off before you think that people would quit stealing across the United States. I don't like this discussion. I don't know, man, but we could talk about it because I like this conversation. I like bringing this in. Corporal punishment. Bye. My mother used to hit me with a razor strap. Really? Oh, about that. Oh, yeah. Oh. It, it, it was my father used to shave with a straight razor. It was yeah. like this long, and it was thick, about a quarter-inch yeah. thick leather. Leather, right? Yeah. And it buckles on the end, bro. What? We used to hide. Oh, my mother chased me out of the house in my underwear. I came running down the block, and you should have saw the. And it was it was the girl I was taking to the prom. It was crazy. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of a uh, you know I'm kind of being serious. Like I mean, really, like you know, we have so much theft, and these people they live they they steal you know without any kind of uh, repercussions because they're thinking, man, like if I steal twenty times, I may get caught once. And if I do, I'll pay. I'll pay one little fine or whatever, and be put on probation or whatever. Yeah, right, you know. Yeah. You know, or or they'll just bail out of jail, and then there's no room in jail, so they so nothing really happens. I well, let's let's table this conversation for tomorrow, okay, buddy? Because I got to yeah, go. Definitely. definitely. Everybody, I'm, I'm, I'm right, on your show, man. Us, please come over to Joe Sonatag. Sonatag. I got to figure out how to pronounce his name, and um, we'll we'll talk, Blevins. If you could join us too, like just come in the chat. We'll bring up uh, itching for switching. We'll bring about thieving and cutting. For I'm so, probably going to go to bed. But, all right, uh, all right yeah. man. <laughs> but, tomorrow, buddy. We'll definitely do the show tomorrow. All right, everyone have all a good night. Good night, good night, good night everybody guys. in chat. Bye. Peace. Bye. Hey, everyone. Thank you for joining us on Pop XP. If you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button and also click the bell for notifications when we go live and we upload some awesome new content. Also, don't forget to head on over to Twitter and follow us at the Pop XP and over on Instagram at the Pop XP. Thanks again, everyone, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.